Let's chat about the wise mech, Luxotic NC, right? Got the old FP on top. I need to do a rewick on this. More or less, uh, I need to pull the wicks out so I can dry burn the coil because, because, mmm, at the moment. When you can taste the caramelization on your coils. Yeah, that's, that's what happens. So, love the drip tip that comes with the Wisemech Luxotic NC because it makes everything so matchy matchy to wipe the condensation off of that bad boy. Um, I do have a couple of gripes with this. Um, small, but they are what they are. In uh, regulated mode, where you can turn it up, it's not really uh, PWM, because those make that ee sound. This is the rattlesnake version of that. I forget what it's called. Um, and... It says it goes from one volt to eight volts. Where's my, where's my handy dandy? Right here's my handy dandy, uh, fire loop mesh. Right. I usually uh, vape this at about 40 watts. Coil heads last me forever. Um, this is turned all the way down, all the way down. Okay. That is not one volt. That is somewhere around three volts, three and a quarter. Yeah, that's uh, more than I vape it at on the old drag, okay? Um, proof. Want proof? We will stick it on the old, the old drag. It's comparison only. This video is not about the drag. It's about the Wisemech Luxotic. It is beautiful. I, I love it. I love the look. The look is awesome. The look is bomb, diggity bomb. But let's see here. New coil. Yes, new coil. Let's uh, let's turn it down. Let's let's do it. We'll go all the way down here. What is it? 12 watts. That's 1.32. 5 watts. Uh, 7 watts. 7 watts is 1 volt. Mm-hmm. That's a 1 volt vape. If I can get some of the glare out of there, that is a 1 volt vape right there. Now, where I normally vape this is at 40 watts. That is 2.3. Nowhere near as warm as what that was. All right. 55 watts. 2.83. We're getting close. 70, 70, 3.15, that's really close, uh, 75, 3.28, that's it, right there, so, stating that this thing goes down to 1 volt, it does not go down to 1 volt, alright, 8 volts I believe, the 1 volt I don't, and uh, because of the pulse width modulation, whatever, um, I can't stick a voltmeter on here and check it because of the way it pulse fires. It just doesn't work. Um, I don't know why I put that back on. So, this does do parallel. It does do series. does it all very well. It's just the uh, modulation part of it where you can crank it up and turn it down that uh, isn't very accurate at all. So, the way you might see it, alright, got the red light, that's in series mode, but I have this in PWM mode at the moment. Flick the switch over, 
the light turns white it's kind of hard to see because of the red of the mod but now the light is white now the light is red in white mode it is a parallel box okay beautiful does its job very well now to get this to do its thing you turn it off five clicks turns off hold the button down for about damn near 10 seconds um, and it'll flash and there it goes now you turn it back on and it is in full series mode full series but there's nothing on it so it's not gonna hold all right and again you can just flip it back and it'll be back in uh, parallel mode it's that easy so series mode red light turn it off hold the button down for about 10 seconds 7 to 10 somewhere in there links now it's back in PWM mode variable wattage mode variable voltage mode whatever you want to call it okay it does crank up and uh, pretty pretty comparable to uh, the full series mode pretty nice um, get the batteries out just slide the cover off all right you can use 2700s in here or you can use 18650s with the battery sleeves which you can see are right there um, I will say it's kind of power hungry um, if you're gonna use 18650s in it use good 18650s in it I actually have a pair up there that are a bit old um, I think they're IMRs and uh, it will only fire pretty much any device I put on it a couple of times and the batteries are too low to use yes it has all sorts of protection in it um, which is kind of nice but I just I like the feel it's it's it, it's really really pretty and you like that it's got a really shiny area right there it's the, the camera does do that justice on that part I mean it is shiny I like the way it looks I like the way it feels it is a little bit bulky but uh, it does everything I need it to do but it doesn't adhere to its own specifications as far as the variable voltage part of it um, I like it I love it I want some more of it it's a very nice mod just uh, don't expect it to go down to one volt everything I put on this dripper included this is a 0.17 build in here again turned all the way down and then parallel mode just a little bit higher than what it is all the way turned down so and that's my wicks getting dry right there I do like it I do like it um, if you're not concerned in vaping between one and three volts um, then there you go um, it's nice I like it it's really all I got to say about it there's no uh, there's no gap on my devices it's all nice and flushy flushy I, I kinda wish this was in a different location I don't know um, you know you know how uh, mods or how tanks and how drippers are and they get all that condensation on the top um, I kinda wish they would have integrated integrated somehow somewhere else I would like it down here but there's not a lot of room um, under a cover uh, a port on the side of it something uh, that you can open up and flip the switch instead uh, having the switch up on the top here where all your condensation or your over drippage or a bad tank or something that leaks and right into your switch which means it goes into your mod and what's underneath that switch all your other switches probably not the best idea probably not 
but I wouldn't want it to protrude out the sides anywhere. I would like it hidden. Even if it was hidden on the top part up here or inset in the top part, at least you would have all this room to see something dripping or condensation or something to wipe off before it got to that switch. Being on top and so close is just bad planning in my book. I realize there's not a lot of room on here, but do something. It does seem to have like a little, yeah, really, I can't catch the light, but it does seem to have like a little rubberized piece, felt, more felt than anything else, according to my picking skills, um, to help things not get in there. But they still do. This one's wet with condensation right now. That's why you see that shiny spot in there. Um, and my wicks are dry. And yeah. That's what I got for you. The Wisemech Luxotic NC. Good mod. Doesn't quite do everything it's supposed to do as far as going down in lower voltages. But I don't vape down that far. So. It's okay. Y'all have fun now. Because I know I will.